All right, well, let's talk uh, some NBA. We're going to be turning our attention the next couple of weeks to the uh, NBA playoff chase. Get ready. We'll have uh, a lot of lot of fun stuff planned for the playoffs that we'll talk to you guys about soon, uh, right after we figured all that out. <laughs> right after we figured it out. <laughs> but very excited for the NBA playoffs just around the corner. But uh, we're not going to really get a chance to talk about this dude at that time, and I feel like the time to talk about him is at this time. Let me just read you. The stat lines for Victor Wembanyama's last two games. 32 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 blocks, 4 steals. 40 points, 20 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 block, 2 steals. It's time to have a conversation, bro. (laughs) This motherfucker is not promising. He is not a promising young dude at this point. He is The promise has been kept. Like, this is the end of his first year. And he's doing shit like that. Like, that 40-point game was against a team that is desperate for wins in a playoff hunt with all-time greats on their roster, too. You know what I mean? But, like, 40 and 20? And then he's, he's I mean, he's going to do, he's going to have a quadruple double or some weird shit. He's going to be one of those dudes with these weird fucking stats we've never seen. But you just watch the games, the photos that come out of the games of him standing over Brunson as Brunson's trying to get to the rim. And it lo- it literally looks like if you came over and watched me play basketball with any bro. Yeah. I mean, it literally yeah. looks like that. He's a foot taller than this dude. Like, I just don't think we've ever seen anything like it. We knew this coming in that he had the potential to be this great, but you just don't know with injuries, with the style of play, the physicality of the NBA. And at this point, He's averaging 22 and 12 in March of his rookie year. So you don't even have the like, oh, he's breaking down at the end of the year of his first year, which happens with a lot of players. Like, what's the ceiling and, and how ludicrous are we prepared to be about Wemby, Tyler? No, oh, bro, he he could be the one. Like, like I don't even think that's hyperbole. I don't think that that is like, you know, over exaggerating shit. I think he has the potential to be the greatest basketball player we've ever seen. Um, and and I'm not someone who throws that shit around, that that goat watch shit, right? Like it had, in my lifetime, guys who are like, okay, this guy could possibly be the best player ever. It's just been LeBron and Wimby, bro, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just been those who are like, okay, when when they're when they're done, they might be the best ever. And even with LeBron, it was a bit of a slow burn. I wasn't necessarily thinking that his rookie year. I thought he was mm-hmm. he was in a, he had an incredible rookie year, but I I didn't get like fully convinced that he could possibly be like the greatest ever until I I want to say like shit around 2009, 2010 ish or so. You know what wow. I'm saying? Like, like, like right around there was when I was like, okay, this guy has all the tools, you know, just get him in the right spot, get him some help and he can make a, a run at, at goat. I did not have these thoughts that I have about Wimby that I have for, um, for LeBron during his rookie season. But yeah, like you said, bro, he's averaging like, like this season, he's averaging like 21, 11, four, uh, five, assi- well, four assists, four blocks, like bro on like 29 minutes, this is going to be the worst version of Wimby that we're going to see. It's only going to get better, right? Like, this is a dude who I think at his peak, he's going to give us like 27 a game, like, like 27, 12, five assists, probably five blocks. Going to, you know, join that um, MJ Akeem uh, Giannis club where he's probably an MVP and a defensive player of the year in the same year and shit. Like, the sky is the limit for this kid, man. You don't think he's a 30 point per game player at, some, at, at, at his peak? Nah, possibly. You don't see it? I mean, it's in a league where we talked about the guy that he'll be that he'll, that he'll be going up against as we see now is Chet, who's mm-hmm. a great basketball player, right? And you, like you pointed out in the group chat, great, great rookie year. You feel me? But like the gap between Wimby and Chet is fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is he going to run it up in a league where the second best player is Chet? You feel me? That's that's his that's his arch nemesis or his biggest rival. You know what I mean? I, I could definitely see him running 30, 30 game, but. Greatest, that's crazy. But, I mean, you can't look at those numbers and not at least think that. And the You can't look at what he does and not at least think it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like bro, when when he first popped on, I think, a lot of our radars when we saw him um, practicing with with Gobert one-on-one. And And it was, like, right cooking. He was, like, a 17-year-old kid out there. You know, he was, like, 7'2 back then, moving like a fucking two-guard and just busting Gobert ass on those one-on-ones. We were, like... Who the fuck is this kid? And right? Gobert he, was laughing. Remember, he was like, kind of like, "What the?" You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he, I was like, "This ain't." I'm I'm scared. You laughing? I'm frightened. <laughs> right? This don't make no sense. You <laughs> this don't make me? no motherfucking sense. But yeah, it's listen, listen, bro. Like I said, I've I've never seen anyone like him. None of us have ever seen anything like him. And I think he's got the potential. When it's all said and done, man, we'll see. He's a 20 year old rookie on a bad basketball team who is averaging. You said 21 points a game. He's 32nd in the league in scoring. 
He's 12th in the league in rebounding, and he leads the league in blocks. He's 20 years old on a bad basketball team. And he plays 29 minutes a game. And he's playing 30 minutes a fucking game. Bro, just right. get him to 37. How many blocks a game <laughs> is he averaging in year four at 38 minutes a game? Six mm -hmm. and a half? And he's 65 games. Points, 29 minutes is, in, is insane, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, that's... That, I'm, I think, like... I'm, I'm, I want to. I would want to break down like a lot of these rookies who had like great rookie seasons. Like, how many minutes were they playing compared to how many minutes he's playing? Twenty nine minutes is is, is 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 nothing for a player of his caliber. Right. For a player who you know, what I'm saying Draymond says top twenty in the league. You feel me? Twenty nine minutes is nothing. And that's my so question like, to like, y'all, bro. I mean, it's if you're an NBA GM and you get the chance to trade for Wemby right now, how many players in the league don't get moved for Wemby? A oh. dozen at the most. And that's only at because those teams aren't want, think they can win a championship right now. Right, right. right. If you're thinking about the future, we get bro, down crazy, to what? Maybe I looked it up because I was curious who leads, the, who's leads the league history in blocks per game. It's Mark, it's Mark Eaton at yeah. 3.5 per game. Victor Wembanyama is averaging 3.4 in 30 minutes a game as a rookie. <laughs> you're different, bro. <laughs> that's fucking Jeez. nuts, bro. Now the fact that it's Mar the fact that it's you know you just said it's Mark Eaton like that tells you like yes that's not going to be right. what determines whether he ends up there on Mount Rushmore or whatever or not sure. it's going to be the offense you know and everything else but it's not a bad starting point for a twenty <laughs> for a twenty year old bro and you know the durability sixty five games thirty minutes a game like you said like that's that to me is honestly almost the most important stat that we just talked about because if he can, if he can be on the court enough to develop. We don't even have an idea of what he's capable of developing into. You know, that's the, that's the crazy part, bro. The fact that this man just had 40 and 20 and we're saying developing. <laughs> right? Like, what? <laughs> that, that doesn't make sense. My brain, you know, I can't put that together. It's insane. It's so I crazy. Mean, and, and Mike is completely right about him being not being promising anymore. He's already this good, right? right but right. there's not a single example in NBA history of players not getting better once they're in the mm -hmm. league. Like, he is going. There is no, is there is no, like, oh, if he gets better, he's going to get better. No, he's, he's a like, half decade away from being within smelling distance of his physical prime. Right. I mean, right. Like, 27 <laughs> is usually like the peak. 27, 28. Yeah. That 20 is 27 to 32. Like right. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Frightening. Yeah, it should, I don't know, bro. In a league where Chet has to get in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> nothing could have been. Nothing, and I, and I, nothing could have no, worked out I'm better. Not for, on Chet. Chet no, nothing could have worked out better for Wemby than that. Than people pairing him up with Chet Holmgren, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like he's gonna be he's gonna be paired up with some different dudes within a year or two, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're gonna be talking Jeez. about Wemby and Jokic or Wemby. You know, it's it like. All due respect to Chad Holmgren, the Thunder have been such a fun team to watch this year. But like, he's, like Tyler pointed out, great fucking rookie season, special. You know what I mean? But for sure, Jesus his second year Christ, in the NBA, bro. he's definitely yeah. you know looking good. But you know, yeah, yeah. his Somebody's, first year in the NBA, he wasn't on the court because yeah. he was Chet, fucking injured, bro. Like, Chet, yeah, Chad is a fucking unanimous rookie of the year. Any other year, you know what I'm saying? So he he he's a baller too. But Wimby is different, bro. There's a difference between like special. And what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. And that's a big ass gap. You know what yeah. I mean? We've seen special. <laughs> Nobody's seen what the fuck is that? There's a reason yeah. we say that. You know what I mean? Crazy. Uh, and I love the personality. Tyler's talked about this on Twitter, but a, a great answer to even bullshit questions. He takes the ball after how, how many how many points did Brunson score? He scored a 60? 60? 61. 60, what, 60. Took the ball and threw it in the fucking stands. <laughs> Go get your fucking game ball with your sixty points. You know what I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> bro? He, he 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 like he's he he says all the right things, and it's not like he's trying to say the right things. You can see that it's genuinely him. Like when they asked him, um, you know about how how you know the the defense he was playing this season, if he thought that he would you know win defensive player of the year, and you know he's well aware that you know a team with, with the record that his team has, he's not going to win defensive player of the year, right? Very self aware kid. And he was like. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get it this year. He's he like, you know, Rudy's going to get one, but, you know, you, you know that, that's going to be it for Rudy. You know, he, he, he was like, you know, Rudy, Ru, Rudy better, you know, you know, count it up because 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 those days are over. I'm coming. Right. Like and it was so genuine from him, bro. Like it wasn't even like he was trying to yes. go for the sound bite or whatever. 
It was like yes. that was exactly how he really felt. He was like, yeah, you know, my, my squad is shitty. I'm not going to win defensive player of the year with this shitty record, but I'm coming, bro. He talks about basketball with the same seriousness an astrophysicist talks about their job. You know what I mean? Where it's like, he, he, he means every, it's very important to him. You feel me? In a particular way where a young guy generally isn't. So yeah. like, yeah, bro, like whatever bro. he plans on doing, he's going to do. And he said it and he meant that shit. And we all know it. You feel me? So, bro, every, like, l- l- like that shit when they asked him, you know, during the, the All-Star weekend when he, him and fucking Ant were on the same challenge team and, you know, Ant fucked it off with that left hand bullshit. And he, um, a reporter asked him later on that weekend, you know, how do you feel about Ant's antics? And he was like, yeah, you know, you know, some guys come here to have fun. And then he, he, he takes a pause and he's just like, he thinks for a second. And he, and, he, and he looks back at the reporter and he goes, winning is fun to me, though. And just yeah. like walks off, no. like cold blooded. He cold plays blooded. basketball, but he ain't here to play, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like shit ain't sweet to him. He takes it very seriously. Yeah. Um, this is a job. You know what I mean? It's something he wants to be great at. And he's not mm-hmm. playing about it. And I love that. You saw the NBA find him for throwing the, the ball after the Knicks game into the, into the crowd? Oh, well, chalk is the game. Every, shit. Everyone at the NBA who had a hand in that was grinning from ear to ear as they did it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you back on the back end. Don't even worry about it. This is optics, baby. You know what I mean? We appreciate it, though. For sure. That's your parent punishing you because they have to punish your younger sibling and you technically did the same thing, even though they know you, you know, you don't really deserve the punishment, but they got to save face. So they, you know, they give you that little, like, it's all good. You can bring some ice cream into your room or whatever. (laughs) It's, 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 it's you getting in a fight at school and your mom asking you, your mom agreeing with your reasoning. Who won? (laughs) You know what I mean? You feel me? Oh, you shouldn't have did that. We gonna get ice cream when we get in the car though. You know what I'm saying? You don't even like you've been in a fight. That's the type of shit it was, you feel me? We talked about when I got called in for, I don't think we talked about it. I can't talk about it on the pod. We talked about it, the, the four of us, though. Vinny got called in, and I just went in and was like, mm-hmm. What do you want me to say to him? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about him. right to uh, me, yeah. brother. Like, I mean, the math is math, G. You feel me? I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> I might have done the same as a grown man. <laughs> nigga, fuck you mean? I'm not going to take him home and tell him I'm not right to do it. <laughs> not to do it. You want me to go get him a high five? You might want to keep him away from me. <laughs> to the end of the day, let me yeah. settle down. I'm excited, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> we going to the Sizzler. You feel me? Like, the fuck? <laughs> fuck you mean? Here's, here's my wife's cell phone number. Better luck, you know, <laughs> with the second phone call, I guess. I right. The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here, and DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top-rated sportsbooks apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn 5 bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any college basketball bet. The men's tournament is a blast every year, but I'm hyped for the women's tourney, too. Got to tap in to see Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, and Juju Watkins. North Carolina listeners, don't forget, DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Jenkins. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Jenkins. The crown is yours. 